And what's going on, everybody? I hope you are having a wonderful Friday, or whatever day you're watching this. Morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time. I hope it is excellent and safe. Welcome to episode number 10. Yes, we've made it to 10 of Flashing Lights. Now, this episode is going to be a start of what I'm going to call a Christmas episode or Christmas series what that I'm going to do. And before I want to get into everything, let me be the first to say thank you for those subscribing or new subscribers, new viewers, or whatnot. Let me be the first to say welcome and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for those that have watched that have stayed with the channel. Thank you. It is all appreciated. But yeah, as I've said just a few seconds ago, this is going to be the start of my Christmas series. I know it's a little early. It's not even Thanksgiving. I know I'm going to get some nasty grams about that saying, Oh, it's not Thanksgiving. What about Thanksgiving? I'm not going to forget about Thanksgiving. It's my favorite holiday. However, a couple Fridays of next month, Fridays are usually my recording days for games of this game. I won't be able to record a couple Fridays next month, right before Christmas, too. I'll let, I'll talk to you guys about that as the uh, time gets forward, but I won't have a chance to record or anything, so that's why I'm starting the Christmas special early, so I can get a few recordings in that are more Christmas themed. Now I'm using this Crown Victoria here. And you notice right away all these lights. Well, Christmas time. Got the car set up like a Christmas tree. Lit up like a Christmas tree. I know it's not realistic. But sometimes you gotta have fun. Here's what the car looks like. <laughs> I know it's a little on the ridiculous side with all the lights and everything. But... It's Christmas. It's going to be light up like a Christmas tree. So, that's why I'm doing it. But I'll still play like I normally play, realistically, of course. Just, instead of running reds and blues, or all reds or all blues, it's going to be green and red. And just murdered out. In those colors. Oh, I forgot to change one thing real quick. So let me do that real quick before I start with the video. I kind of messed up with my uh, side lights here behind the uh, passenger, rear passenger door here. So I, there was a little bit of blue. So I had to get I had to get that changed. I think everything else looks good. I know, excessive, but it's just going to be what it is this episode. So we're using the Crown Victoria as the first episode for this Christmas series. So without further ado, let's get right into it and be 10 8 with calls. Vehicle parked without a permit, respond code 1. Yeah, this is not urgent at all, so I'm not even going to be turning on the lights for this one. So, in the Carcer City, certain residential areas do need permits for parking. Just like any other major metropolitan area... Out there, certain areas require permit parking only, and this vehicle apparently doesn't have it. It's 
is how to get in here. This isn't the culprit either, is it? Oh, I see. It's in here. Okay. What in the world? Okay, that was a major glitch. So is this the area that requires a uh, hermit? Let me check out the uh, front here. See what it says. Permit parking only. Okay, so this is what we need to be looking at. So far, this uh, Chevrolet Avalanche truck does not... I don't see a permit, so the first citation is going for this uh, dark gray Chevrolet Avalanche parked in no valid parking permit. The license plate number is 123456. 7890 and the fine will be $50. So that's citation number one. This uh, avalanche here does have a uh, resident parking permit, so no cr incident is being is happening there. So is this vehicle and the Lancer. Ooh, the uh, Mitsubishi Lancer here does not have a permit, so he will also, he or she will also be getting a citation. We need to issue a citation for an orange Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. No valid parking permit. License plate number is going to be 1234. Five six seven eight nine zero, with the fine amount of fifty dollars. So that's another one that's going to be issued there. I don't know what the deal is with this lady, and I think that is it here. So we'll be back ten eight with this one. I don't think this is part of it here. I don't see any signs, so I'm going to give this per BMW the benefit of the doubt here, since I don't see any signs that he's not parked illegally. So let's go 10-8. to drive idiot but yeah as I was saying there will be two Fridays next month where I won't be doing any gaming whatsoever I still need to do another video of my car my crown Victoria which I haven't had a chance to be doing that either and we got a call of a uh, escaped convict where's it at way over there so let's turn on the siren we're going code 3 here with the uh, Christmas cop car be hilarious if this thing was playing like jingle bells or something on the way to the emergency also start doing I know game night I've always been kind of having this as my game night type game but I want to also start maybe doing some game nights focusing on the other games I got such as like 
American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator 2, um, Sim City 4 I got, maybe even some games I got on the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. I don't have any of the uh, next gen consoles yet because I'm just going to wait until the price goes down on that. Oh, wait a sec, I think I got a ping that he's way over there. Gonna go do a little off-roading with this Crown Vic. person was last seen around here. Oh! Here we go. We got someone here. Yep, this is definitely the person. Stop! Police, stop! Yeah, you're definitely an escaped inmate. Let me see your ID. Eddie Watkins. Alright, Eddie Watkins. You're being under arrest and more than likely, additional charges will be made of you escaping during transportation. So you even got the... You still even got your jumpsuit on, so you're definitely the guy. No one just walks around with an old jumpsuit around Carson City or really any place, so you're definitely the guy. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney, and if you cannot afford an attorney, the court will provide a public speaker upon your behalf. Do you understand these rights that have been told, sir? Obviously, this is not your first time hearing that, so... I'm going to be patting you down here. You got anything that'll hurt me, poke me, stab me, or harm me in any way, sir? Nothing? Alright, so let's see here. Alright, just an ID card. I'm gonna run your information down and see what else happened. Let's run it some information with the uh, Mr. Eddie Watkins here. One arrest, which is probably the one he just had, it would be another arrest for him. He's definitely wanted. And he's definitely got a warrant for his arrest, so maybe additional charges with that too. And that's something the uh, detectives and everyone will have to look more into. Valid driver's license. Good driver though. No ticket. No, no traffic violation. So he's a good driver there, but everything else is. Not looking good. Alright, so... Let's go see that other area. Maybe there's someone else that has escaped. See what's going on. While we do a little off-roading here. Dirt roads of Carcer City. I like this game. I wish there was more first responder type games out there. Ooh. Alright, here it is. Of course the Crown Victoria is going to be involved here. Let's see, is there anyone else that's hurt? We got EMS on scene, people, they're being taken care of. The officer looks to be knocked out here. I don't see anyone of that has, anyone else that has escaped, so. 
what I'm going to do. All right, Mr. Watkins. So I'll be requesting transport, pick you up, another one. Obviously, there's a big situation going on with this transport, with this crash, this Crown Vic. So you'll be placed in another van and taken to the uh, Carcer City Jail for processing, more than likely for additional charges. Thank you, ma'am. Alright. Show me 1021 and we'll be 108. Arsonist activity. Alright. Where is it at? Uh, I don't see it popping up on the screen here. Oh, I didn't accept it. That's why. I thought I did. I thought I did. Alright, so. Alright, so what's going on here? These lights, although excessive, do look pretty nice on this car. <laughs> Looks like I just need to stay on this road. Carson City Police Department, pull over. This is an emergency situation. I hope in future updates they add more vehicles like the Atajo, the Taurus, the Caprice, the Impala. Maybe even throw in a couple classic ones like the older Caprice or even the Plymouth Fury. That'd be kind of cool. Or the uh, Dodge Diplomat. Drifted to the turn. Because, whoa! Wow, okay. He just hit me. The person is trying to escape, so... Let's see what's going on there. really using these mountains to his or her advantage but can only go so far with the mountains yeah we got a runner Okay, person has a gun. You go down here so my car doesn't get stuck like it did that one. Drop the weapon! Drop the gun! Drop the gun!
Freeze! Police! Alright. Taser deployed! Taser deployed! Taser has been deployed! You're being handcuffed here, sir. Fired shots at me as I approached. That's going to be a charge right there. You're suspected of an arsonist attack activity, which I didn't see anything going on, but that's what the call is for, so there will be an investigation with that. Resisting arrest. So already you got yourself a slew of charges. Okay, this person looks very drunk, so. Alright. Stay right here. I'm going to talk to this person, too. Alright. My name's Officer Maddie with the uh, Carcer City Police Department. You don't look good like you've had a little too much to drink, so. Which, if that's the case, that would be public intoxication, so. First of all, let me take you off the road here. Secondly, secondly, um, you mind if I see your ID? Just, just so I'll know who you are. Rachel Anderson. Okay, Rachel Anderson. And you definitely don't look like you're very sober. So do you mind if I perform an alcohol test to see if you're not doing anything like public intoxication? I know you're not driving, so definitely not a DUI. But public intoxication is also a uh, crime. Wow, okay, well over the limit there. More, almost three times. Or just a little over two times the legal limit. So, yeah, definitely some public intoxication there. So, you're being, you're under arrest there, pu public intoxication. Anything, but for both, and this goes for both of you. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be issued to you by the court. You guys have any information or any questions, whatnot, regarding your rights here? Nothing? All right, okay, so... I'm going to pat you down. Got anything that could hurt me, poke me, stick me, or harm me in any way, ma'am? Nothing? Okay, so. ID card? Alright, so. You don't have much. I'm going to request a transport for this individual. You, sir. I'm gonna take a walk to my vehicle. Once the, uh... Paddy wagon gets here. And why park that far? Okay. Whatever, I guess. Well, a little too much to drink there. You won't be waiting in my vehicle. First things first, I'm going to be looking up the first individual, Rachel Anderson. Arrest warrant. 
and she's got a warrant for her arrest so not only was she going to be going to the Carson City Jail for public intoxication she's also got a warrant for her arrest I don't know what the warrant is exactly but that but she's got one out there for arrest she's already been arrested once she's got five traffic violations and her driver's license is suspended so not really the cleanest record out there at all all right sir before I go any further let me ask for your ID Albert McBride all right mr ride here you'll be patted down because you are under arrest so if you have anything that can poke me stick me stab me or harm me in any way please let me know before I pat you down nothing all right ID card and the weapon which is that gun that he had earlier so Let's see what's up here with look up his information and then we'll probably take him to the uh, station ourselves. Clean record. That's as clean as it gets. And he wants to do all that. So congratulations sir. You're just going to have your first arrest and a whole slew of charges with it. So congratulations with that. All right, Mr. McBride. We got we got one arson is charged firing a weapon at an officer and resisting arrest here. So, Mr. Albert McBride, good luck to you, sir. Hopefully this is a lesson for you. Oh, we got shoplifting here. All right. It says this is a code one call, but I'm gonna at least turn on my lights just so I could get there a little quicker. Is shopping no sh or shopping shoplifting normally a code one call elsewhere or because I feel like something in that degree should at least be like code two. Don't want to maybe okay maybe you don't want to turn on your siren so that you don't scare off the uh, shoplifter, but I feel like something like that would be. be at least code 2 just so you can get there a little bit quicker
Oh, uh, that guy. Who shop? Okay, I was gonna say who shoplifts at a diner, but this is at the grocery store next door. So, all right, ma'am, what's going on here? Shoplifter looked like this. Here's a shot from closed circuit TV. All right, ma'am. And I saw a guy walking right off the road like that. So. Maybe this guy, that guy has anything to do with it. So, let me make contact with the individual and see what's up. Hey, sir. Sir, can I talk to you for a minute? Alright. My name's Officer Maddie with the, uh, Carcer City Police Department. The reason why I'm talking to you is because just down the street there, there was a, a shoplifting that happened, and, well, I don't see anyone else in the area but you, so maybe you have any information about that. Nothing at all. Well, person I talked to suspected it might have been you that have done it, so that is why I'm also talking to you. They were, the place had cameras, and we've already reviewed the cameras, so you mind if I ask for your ID, sir? Alright, Austin Simon. Alright, Mr. Simon, wait right here while I see your information real quick one traffic violation that's it alright so All right, Mr. Simon, we have, we have reasonable suspicion that you were involved in that shoplifting, so you're being detained right now, not arrested, but detained pending this investigation. Do you mind if I search you, sir? Got anything that can poke me, stab me, hurt me, or harm me in any way, please let me know. Nothing? Okay. Alright, so let's see. A weapon, stolen items, and an ID card. So, we have found the individual here. Mr. Simon, you're being under arrest for shoplifting. And we're also going to investigate that weapon a little more. And if that comes up as an illegal weapon or whatnot, there'll be charges with that as well. So... Mr. Simon, you're under arrest, and you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney, and if you cannot afford an attorney, the court will provide a public speaker upon your behalf. You have any questions or whatnot regarding your rights, sir? Nothing? Alright, so... Let me put you in the back of the patrol car because you are under arrest. We found the stolen items. We gotta return it back to the uh, owner of the uh, store. All right, ma'am. Got your stuff back. Ha have a good rest of the day and be safe. What is with people not get having a record all of a sudden wanting to do all these things? I don't understand. If you have a clean record, why not keep it?
every light I'm hitting. Oh my gosh. It's just like the real world. I gotta turn here so I can get to the police station. Oh, he's on the other side, okay. Alright, Mr. Simon. Shoplifting usually is a minor crime, I think, for the most part, depending on the value of goods, but... This is his first arrest, so it probably won't be very severe of a punishment more than likely he'll be placed on probation if anything it might be a fine or even a small amount of jail time depending on what the judge says so mr simon please please good luck to you you seem like a good individual and that this is only a mistake and i hope this is a lesson for you sir So that's going to do it with this episode of Flashing Lights. Episode number 10 is now done and over with. With this Christmas Crown Vic. I'm going to turn on the lights for y'all again with this thing. <laughs> Excessive, I know. <laughs> but that'll do it for this episode. I hope y'all are having... A wonderful rest of the day, morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time you're watching this. And most of all, please be safe. That's all for now. Peace out.